If your New Year's resolution included eating healthier without giving up eating well, this morning's dish is just for you. It comes from Ellie Krieger, chef, registered dietitian, and cookbook author, who's best known as host of the Food Network's Healthy Appetite, which airs on the Cooking Channel. And since she has also taught nutrition, food studies, and public health at New York University, we are happy to welcome Professor. Ellie Krieger to the dish. Good morning to you. Good morning. I like that. That's yes, very Yes, I think catchy. we should all call me Professor now. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got here? What, are we, yeah. what have you got in oh, front of us? Oh, delicious food. And doesn't it smell amazing? It smells fantastic. So it's a chipotle turkey meatloaf. Mm -hmm. And we have two kinds of mashed potatoes because, like, why stop at one, right? <laughs> and, never have enough mashed potatoes. <laughs> no, I'm and all some for that. broccoli with toasted garlic and a nice salad, a nice seasonal salad of spinach with oh, um, pears right. and walnuts. And basically, so. The point is, is that it's like comfort food. It is satisfying. It is gives you that like warm, fuzzy feeling in every way. But it is so much healthier for you. So and and really much lower calories than like the typical um, versions of these kinds of foods. So the, what is the calorie difference roughly? I mean, so for the meatloaf. Yeah. For the meatloaf. So my secret ingredient, by the way, yeah. is I have oatmeal in there. It's turkey really? meatloaf, but I put oatmeal instead of breadcrumbs, and it keeps the moisture in. Mm -hmm. So you think, oh, you're not going to have a dry meatloaf, right? It's really then good. Then there's a whole zucchini grated in there. Wow. Oh wow. So it's it's doing things like this, making small changes that can make a huge difference. It's about a hundred calories less per slice than a typical meatloaf, and the mashed potatoes are about half the calories of a so typical. So how did you do that because okay. I know mashed potatoes you often get cream cheese you get yeah, milk you don't in there, you get to... butter yeah so you know what so my whole thing is food I look at it as usually sometimes and rarely there's no such thing as never the minute you say never to me I want it ten times more anyway <laughs> <laughs> so um, so basically I use a little bit of butter about two tablespoons but that's all you really need to get that richness mm -hmm. um, I use buttermilk in the sweet potatoes and in the other potatoes I mix that with cauliflower so I mash it up with cauliflower and it literally is about half the calories of a, a regular mashed potatoes. Plus, I leave the skins on the potatoes because that's where a lot of the fiber and nutrients come from. Now, let's let's look at your let's look at your how you sort of progressed into this whole healthy cooking world because you I, I read you were actually overweight as a kid. Yes, but I, you then became a fashion model. So how did you make that leap? I know it's like a crazy journey. Yeah. But actually, you know, I became a fashion model because I needed a job, <laughs> and yeah. I knew people people were telling me that um, you know I could do that. So it wound up being great, and that's how I paid for college. Mm -hmm. Really, in the end, I was like a, a model want to be a nutritionist so right. I don't know how that works but basically yes I was overweight I have always loved food uh -huh. that is where I start I have always loved food and I really did struggle with overweight as a child and then as a model also dealing with some other body image issues sure. but in the end I learned how to love food in a healthy way so you can have it all. You don't have to go on some crazy kind of diet. In fact, my whole purpose of my book, Small Changes, Big Results, and all of my recipes and so on, is to help people learn how to love food in a healthy way and get off the diet roller coaster. You don't need to be there. It is not a fun place to be. Yeah. Sitting here at this table with you guys is a fun place to be. So if you could have this sangria or oh, this yeah. meal with anyone. We like the sangria. <laughs> we do. We do. Who would it be? OK, besides you yeah, right no, we're now. <laughs> I have to say my family because enjoying food with my family is pretty much the, the highlight of my life. But if it can't be that, then it might have to be Jude Law. And I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's my favorite answer so far. Yeah. You've got to sign our dish. It's, it's a family tradition in this house. And uh, Chef Ellie Krieger, thank you so much for being with us this my morning. My pleasure. Thank you.